I got an interesting text today. It says, how is that a group of us all got 111 when adding the year we were born to the age we're turning into this year? If you too want answers to your questions, you can text me and find information at math2tube.com. Let's get started. First, let's check and make sure it does work. So the year I was born is 1971, and I'm turning 40 this year. So if you were to grab 71, the last two digits of the year I was born, added to the age I'm turning into this year, which is 40, and indeed you do get 111, okay? Now let's take the curtain off and take a look at why such thing is true. Um, let's change our color over here. So 1971, let's do the full uh, digits here. And the trick is really come from this 40. Now, how do we calculate the year, uh, the age we're turning into this year? So what we really did is this, 1971, okay, we added this one. And how do we calculate the age I am gonna be turning into? I start with the year, that's this year, um, 2011. I subtract the year I was born. Now from here, once I write this out, you can see very quickly what's happening. Okay, if you start with 1971, you add this whole thing here. So the year you were born really gets uh, mathematically speaking canceled out. Okay, so you were left with is the current year. And this is the trick. This is why they had you use only the last two digits of the year you were born. So that coincided with the one one. Okay, this carry over one is actually what appears to be magical. So for the people um, thinking ahead, next year when they have you do the same thing, you will have 90, 1971, okay, I'll be turning into 41, and guess what? You're gonna get into, that's right, 2012 of next year, and they'll give you those two digits, and they added this carry over of one. So next year, the same trick will become 112. And the year after that, yep, you guessed that it, it's gonna be 113. And the year after that, 114, all right? Um, well, this shows the power of math and creates magic. And um, have a confident day.